Hi friends, we're going to read one of our favorite books, The Bumpy Little Pumpkin, by Marjorie Kyler and illustrated by Will Hillenbrand. It's a Halloween story. Little Nell lived with Big Mama, Big Sarah, Sarah, and Big Lizzie in a great big house in a great big woods. Behind the great big house, there was a great big garden, and in the great big garden, there was a great big pumpkin patch. All summer long, Little Nell helped her family water and weed so the pumpkins would grow big and orange for Halloween. When Halloween finally came, Big Mama called Little Nell and her sisters into the kitchen. It's time for each of you to pick a pumpkin to carve, she said in her big blustery voice. Me too, asked Little Nell. You too, said Big Mama. So Little Nell followed her sisters to the pumpkin patch. There are so many wonderful pumpkins, it's hard to choose, said Big Sarah. She picked up a tall, skinny pumpkin. I think this is the one for me, she said. Big Lizzie picked up a big, round, fat pumpkin. I like this one, she said. But Little Nell couldn't decide. She walked back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, looking at all the pumpkins. Some were big, some were small, some were crooked, some were tall, but none was just right. At last, she came to the end of the patch, and there sat a bumpy little pumpkin all by itself. This one's my favorite, said Little Nell. It's bumpy and little and ugly, said Big Lizzie. But it could have a nice smiley face, said Little Nell. No way, said Big Sarah. How about this nice smooth one instead? But I like the bumpy one, said Little Nell. Big Sarah and Big Lizzie rolled their eyes. We're taking our pumpkins inside, said Big Sarah. You keep looking till you find a bigger and better one, said Big Lizzie. Then we'll help you carve it, said Big Sarah. After they left, Little Nell sat down by the bumpy little pumpkin. A tiny tear fell, fell down her cheek, then another and another. She's sad. Her friends, Reindeer, Hare, and Bear Cub came along. What's wrong, asked Bear Cub. Little Nell sniffled and snuffled. Big Lizzie and Big Sarah think my pumpkin's too bumpy and too little and too ugly to make a good jack-o'-lantern. I don't think it's too bumpy, said Bear Cub. Or too ugly, said Reindeer. Or too little, said Hare. You don't, said Little Nell. No, said the animals. This pumpkin would make a great jack-o'-lantern, said Reindeer, and we could help you carve it. How, asked Little Nell. Like this, said Reindeer, and he lowered his head and caught around and around and around the top till he'd carved a little, a lid. Ooh, said Little Nell, that's perfect. I can scoop out the inside, said Bear Cub. How, asked Little Nell. Like this, said Bear Cub, and he clawed and pawed and pawed and clawed until there was nothing left but an empty pumpkin shell. Oh, goody, said Little Nell. Now for the face, how can we do that? Let's ask the birds for help, said Hare. So Little Nell whistled for the birds. Crow, Cardinal, and Sparrow flew down from the trees. Could you make a face for my jack-o'-lantern, asked Little Nell. What kind of face, said Cardinal. With her finger, Little Nell etched and sketched and sketched and etched a face in the dirt. It had triangles for eyes, a square for a nose, and a smiley lopsided mouth. Like this, she said. There it is. So Cardinal, Crow, and Sparrow poked and pecked and pecked and poked until the pumpkin had a face. At last, the jack-o'-lantern was finished. Little Nell smiled a tiny smile. Can't wait to show Big Mama, Big Sarah, and Big Lizzie. She picked it up and ran all the way to the house. What a beautiful jack-o'-lantern, said Big Mama. Where did you get it? From our pumpkin patch, said Little Nell. Who helped you carve it, asked Big Sarah. My friends, Reindeer, Bear Cub, and Hare, said Little Nell. I still think it's little and bumpy and ugly, said Big Lizzie. Nonsense, said Big Mama. Jack-o'-lanterns come in all shapes and sizes. The girls placed their jack-o'-lanterns near the door and Big Mama lit them. Mine's cool, said Big Sarah. Mine's cooler, said Big Lizzie. 
They're all wonderful, said Big Mama. Even mine, asked Little Nell. Even yours, said Big Mama, and she leaned over and gave Little Nell a big sloppy kiss. Little Nell smiled. Look at all these beautiful jack-o'-lanterns. Happy Halloween! It's a fun Halloween story, and we are going to make another jack-o'-lantern out of a paper bag, a lunch bag. I cheated. Mine is orange. You can paint an or you can paint your your um, lunch bag orange, or you can just use the regular paper bag color is fine. And um, some newspaper because we're going to stuff it. We're going to crumple up the newspaper and put it inside. And you need some shapes for the face. And this is a good time to talk about shapes with your kids. I have a square, a circle, a triangle. It's easier to see that. And hmm, a little half moon shape. I think this is going to be the smile for my jack-o'-lantern. And some twine to tie your jack o' lantern together. First thing we do is open our paper bag, open it up like you're gonna put lunch inside, and take some newspaper and crumple it up and stuff it. And this is actually for toddlers, this is a great thing to crumple up newspaper really small. And um, the idea of filling up your bag as much as you can it doesn't seem like. Um, too complicated, but it's a good motor, fine motor um, thing to do. Okay, I think two pieces is enough for mine. Get it, get it kind of stuffed up so it looks like a jack o' lantern, and I have some twine to tie at the top so it can look a little bit like the vine on your pumpkin. And there we go. You can stuff it a lot or a little bit. Now I'm going to glue on the face. And again, talk to your kids about what shape, what shape do you, what shape should we make the eyes? And how many eyes are we going to put on our jack-o'-lantern? I will put two. I'm going to put the glue right where I want the eyes to be. Please, let's not my bag a little bit. Two eyes. And let's see what shapes I have. How about, what shape is that? One circle eye. one square eye on my jack-o'-lantern. Now my jack-o'-lantern needs a nose right there in right there below the eyes. Again we can talk about below the eyes. I have a nose. And what shape did I use for my nose? Triangle. Then my jack-o'-lantern needs wow. And I had a great shape. Sorry, need a little more glue there. My jack-o'-lantern is going to have this crescent. Actually, if I put it this way, look it. I can put my my face this, my mouth that way, and my, my jack-o'-lantern looks grumpy. Or I can put it this way, and he looks happy. There you go. So you can do this project at home, and a normal lunch bag works fine, too. See you next time.